another video. We're going to be doing the uh, actual podcasting video I was talking about that I wanted to uh, do. And uh, so I figured out, so this is how we're going to do these rounds. We're going to do best of pretty much three. And if one of them wins two rounds, then they're gonna, the win's going to go to that person because... I tried doing domination and domination don't work. All I figured out is I tried doing safeguard, safeguard don't work. So I tried to figure all I figured out was control. And search and destroy works where they actually play the OBJs and you know kill each other at the same time. And if one wins one, the other one wins one, we're gonna take the third round into team deathmatch with a quick game of 25 points or something like that. And then that'll just choose the winner overall. But uh but first one to win two wins. First round will be control, slums. Uh, next round will be search and destroy. I do not know which map totally on that. I'm thinking firing range on search and destroy. But uh, we'll figure out then when we get there. It's going to going to be Optic Gaming against Team Caliber. All right, so let's get right into this. Here, uh, Optic Gaming has uh, some pretty familiar name familiar names I know. I was doing test runs of this in Chavels, Chavels, you know, that fucking douche, uh, when, <laughs> he was in here too, and he was fucking spanking even on here, bro, he was actually on, uh, Opt Gaming, so, uh, the, usually the, uh, specialists kind of look the same, but this time they don't really look too much alright, let's go here. So we're just going to keep this up because I can't really see too much of that podcasting menu when uh, I'm doing this other stuff and it's not going to work. There we go. Alright, so first off, as we can see here, uh, Optic Gaming is pushing over onto B and both A. Let's see. Team Calibre seems to go and trying to deal with uh, the B push as they go over here to A with the rest of them. And the them stay on B, which they shouldn't really do that. I feel like they should come all pushing on A at once because it seems like Optic Gaming is going to be over here pushing on also. And their whole full squad is coming up behind them, so that's, that's, not, that's not good for TK. They're, I feel like TK is going to lose A right here off the bat. And the uh, test runs I did, they did majority of them lose A off the bat, but then did a pretty good standoff at B. And if Team Caliber cannot get to B before Optic Gaming gets over there, I think this game is going to be in uh, Optic Gaming's favor. The green wall is coming over pretty aggressive at the moment, and it looks like TK pushed off pretty much the majority of their uh, rotation of their advance over. Let's see here. He's all doing 5 4 2 4. They're doing decent. Wow, Opti Gaming bull, bull lock. Bull pushed a good majority of TK off of the flag, which that's, that's a shocker. That's pretty good. God damn, Marlo just demolished the majority of them coming in there. Bull lock to another person. Oh, that was a pretty decent lightning strike. They took out two of the TK rotation and OG takes off the first win. Alright, let's see how TK can do on this uh, attacking advancing side. From the looks of it, they didn't do too good on the defense. So, let's see what they uh, choose to do here for the attacker side. Doesn't look like they're doing too good. 1 and 3, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Doesn't seem too far, too good. Bullock, though, on the other hand, off the game and pushing right away into A, and he is doing 13 and two. Got another kill with his dog that he has in. They're immediately defending A, which this is something that we do not see usually. The majority of them are actually pushing over here onto this. Who's wow? Off the game and definitely took control this first second half. But TK, the first time I've ever seen these teams take B before they take A. We see both of them are on B and A. Bullock is going, this is a good actual strategy to take B first because if they can get a hold of B, they can easily take, go through their spawn straight to A non-stop and just bum rush A. But for the looks of it, they got pushed off of B, which is very sad to see. I was very rooting for my bad. Bullock came over and seems like he definitely took control of this match. Wow. 20 and 2. Definitely took, took control of this match. He took over A himself, took him off of A. Not 
another all over here defending B, which is not a too smart or good idea. Bullock should have never re rotated, he should have just stayed on A. It looks like they're coming back to A, back to the day one plan. TK, man, they are just not, they cannot do anything. Holy cow. Bullock just massacred them and still going. Finally was killed. Holy cow. TK definitely finally once in a, out of a million got a lockdown on at least one OBJ. It's a good thing they got to start on B because if they go and they take B and push Opti Gaming off, which Opti Gaming seems like they're going to try to rotate. Is that what they're doing? I don't know what they're doing there. Zarin coming from the side. The whole TK is coming from the side. Looks like they're gonna do some type of weird breach type of shit. But they're all coming in now. If they if Octagon can now stop this push, which they did, which is not a shocker. Whoa. G J Leah pulls out the I don't even know, I forget the specialist ability for that. Just demolishes them off the point and just takes control of the situation. Wow. That was a turn of events. I did not think TK was going to be able to take that point at all. Opti Gaming had a good freaking lockdown on that, which I am impressed. Now let's see which way Opti Gaming here and see if they're going to follow the same way that TK did. And it looks like they're just staying on A. And, oh man, that lightning strike is not good at all. They could have done better with that lightning stroke. They could have completely took them all off of A. And it looks like Opti Gaming is going to be taking a hold of A here. TK already just trying to bunker out and be getting prepared for the green wall to come. It seems like... Who's that? Uh, who is that? On Opti Gaming. Villa has it out. Wow. Let's look at Bullock for a little bit. Oh, he's using the SDM, which is a very good aggressive weapon. No wonder he's doing 24 and 7. They're so pushing the B here. And he takes on two. He takes out three. Four. Oh, I thought he took out four. Wow. They came in and just completely demolished TK. And Villa tried rushing to stop that push in the transition. There was no deal. Majority of TK just sitting back in their spawn. I think they gave up knowing that B is not theirs no more. Yeah, there's nothing they're gonna do. Wow. Oh man. Dropped a lightning strike straight down on them before they came in. Yeah, this is all in Opti Gaming's favor this time. If Opti Gaming can pull this out, they got round one in their hands, straight off the bat, like that. This game really went in this Opti Gaming's favor. Oh man, Marlo just destroyed their push there. That is, that is just disgusting. Oh, and he's coming back. He's, he's got it. There's nothing they're gonna do. Hudson, they're just calling in streaks, blowing them away. Hudson, Morrow, everyone. This is not in TK's favor at all. Full lock going 28 and 8, almost dropping a 30 ball. Pro leagues, this is just insane. Marlo's gonna be up there with them with this gunship. Or I'm gonna. It's not. not it's not a gun. I don't know. I need to learn my COD. You know, I play it all the time. And they're switching. They're rotating back over. The top players are, which is, doesn't make any sense at all why they want to do that. Villa wasting his actually ability. There's nothing TK's going to do here. It is 20 some more seconds and they only got 13 life points left. There's no way they're going to be able to take two objectives with this. Holy cow, one hell of a firefighter, something going on right there. Now there's no way. They actually went over to B, and like I said, the two top players are over there. There's nothing they're going to do over there. And there we go, boys. Game 1 goes into TK's favor. I mean, off the game's favor. Wow, that was a... 
crazy game. TK came in with some explosive plays. Just could not, you know, just they could not progress off of the plays they made. That was a crazy play from Leah in the first, actually second round, I think it was, to take A from Optic Gaming, but there was just nothing they could do about it. Marlock, Bullock, and all of them were Marlo, Bullock. They just controlled that game way too much, took it out of their hands in favor. Alright, so first game goes into Optic Gaming favor. Oh, we're gonna switch up the map over here. We're gonna switch up the game mode to search and destroy. One second, I'll switch that back over. We're gonna do a bonus map, a fun firing range at night. We're gonna switch up to search and destroy. And the bots are on veteran. Let's see here. Let's see who can take the second round. If TK takes the second round, we will do a quick uh, 25 points team deathmatch. If they cannot take the second round, then uh, it goes into Optic Gaming favor. Only because of the sheer fact is there's so little game modes that let you do anything with bots anymore for contest. Kind of disappointing from Black Ops 3. You could, you're able to just do this. They don't play objective. When I try doing hardpoint, they just don't play objective at all. And so hardpoint would just be way too much. Alright, from the looks of it, I actually some very similar specialists here. Let's see who, uh, who takes this one off the bat. So it looks like Optic Gamer are all just pushing down the middle while the majority of TK is going to push over to B. Which, there's already confrontation over here at A. Optic Gaming taking out the first kill over at A. Oh man, and Optic Gaming just got shredded by Villa right off the start. That is, that was just disgusting. 3 and 0. I mean, TK got shut up from off the gaming off the start. What am I saying? Wow, off the gaming did do a little bit different than what from TK did. They all pushed over towards B and went through middle, as TK all pushed over towards A. Aw, oh, man. Wow. What is going on with TK? They literally got demolished by two people, literally. We already know the favor this is going into. TK trying to do the same thing, and oh my word, Von Deer just landing shots. Holy, he hits another one. Is he gonna get Bulldog? Oh my, that is, that's big. That is very big. That might be something that TK needs to just to get back into this fight. They are playing on A. If Stem Black can hit that corner fast enough and take out Bullock, this would be that would be big. And it, he did. He takes out both of them. Oh my, that's that's big. Well, are they gonna defuse? Oh. All right. I was about to say. Wow, that was big. That was very big. That's a big play right there, especially by Von Der. Pushing down through mid with that sniper just devastated at least three of them. That was a shot back from TK to tell him that we're not out of this yet. They were telling TK we can still do that same thing. That was a weird uh, EMP off the start. As Optic Bullock goes pushing down. Oh, he tries to rotate. He's out. Oh, oh man. That was a devastating gunfight. Took out three. There's already three of Optic Gaming dead and two of TK. Villa looks like he's going to be the next. Ah, uh, yep. He's our next target. Let's. Oh, 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 I want to switch over to this. There's some good stuff going on over here. Oh, and he takes out two over here. But the bombs plant. What? What is he going to do? Is he going to rotate back to B? Stemlack and Zaring, they walk off of the bomb. They're actually going on a hunt for him, and oh man, Lenisma finds him too. He's 5 and 1. And ah, oh, Zarin was there waiting for him. Wow, this is a, a good search map. I meant search match.
Let's see what they do here. Let's see if Von Baer, he is pushing down through mid again, which I really want to see how this works out. Oh, he takes out, oh, he almost took out one, but they took out both the TK pushing through mid, which is not good for them, because they're at a huge disadvantage now. And Stem Life hits the corner without prepared, but he still gets him. Goes for Villa, but he's almost dead. Leah's there, and he gets pushed on. He's almost dead. They're all over there. There's nothing they're going to do anymore. There's only one TK left. He's over here at A. They are already playing it over at B. I don't even know if he's going to take out. He isn't going to take out Hudson. That was a very fast-paced round. Doesn't really seem like this match is really controlled by anybody, honestly. It seemed like this match has been, you know, very lenient on everyone. Marlo is straight down through the mid, almost. Doesn't do much damage at all. Two of the Opti Gang are already taken out, which is a huge setback to Opti Gang, because they're all pushing B. Oh my. Oh, Bullock and Villa takes out the whole entire push. Wow. There's a lucky headshot on Zaring. Took him out. There's, it's a three on one. The bomb's down on B. Leah's going down through middle. He notices Hudson in the. I'm gonna guess inside the trailer. That's what that's called. Let's keep an eye on Leah. Let's see what he's up with. He's going over to the bottom where Bullock is, and Bullock is there waiting for him, taking him out. And Opti Gaming takes their first match in the COD leagues against TK. I'll, I'll be writing this stuff down to keep a uh, control and eye and contact a loser bracket, winning bracket, and stuff like that. TK right now will be switched over into loser bracket because they lost their first match. Every team that loses first match will be in the losing bracket. And then every team that won first match will be on the winning bracket. And then we will do a winning bracket fight off. Or first, we're going to do a losing bracket fight off so we can get more. We're going to see uh, whoever's from the losing bracket that wins out of there will be put into a what we would, what I would call a minor bracket and then the winning bracket will be taken off everyone from the winning bracket that wins will be put into that minor bracket everyone that loses will be fighting the people that lost from the losing bracket like a last ditch chance to be able to at least do something in the league they're going to fight it off whoever loses just out and whoever wins will be put into the minor bracket and then we're going to take this minor bracket split it up big battle between all those clans and then yeah basically whoever wins out of that is going to be Whoever loses, boot it out. Whoever wins, is going to be on forward and so forth. But, alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this first, you know, video. This is it's been, this has been absolutely crazy. I've been enjoying the living crap out of making these videos and just doing this and stuff. So, I'll see you guys in the next time.